let's talk about the personal question. Do, do, you, do you want to live forever? I mean, is, is there some, isn't, is, is part of life death, or have we just programmed ourselves sociologically to believe that? So here's my answer to you. What time do you want to go to the toilet next Tuesday? Right. Look, it's a stupid question, and you know why it's a stupid question. It's a stupid question. I was going to answer it. Right. <laughs> it's a stupid question because you know that you're going to have better information nearer the time. A Tuesday, right. when I have to go to the bathroom. Right, exactly. All right. So it's the same deal. If we know that we don't want to die anytime soon, and we know that we are unlikely to change our mind about that while we stay healthy, then it's just forward planning. It's just saying, well, okay, let's stay healthy as long as we can, and let's stay alive while we're healthy. You know, it's just forward planning. Michael? Well, I'm frequently asked this question, actually, especially by journalists like yourself. And my question is... It's predictable, yes. Okay, let's say somebody told you you were going to die on Saturday, but there's a pill you could take today that would mean you would not die on Saturday. Would you take that pill? Most people answer yes to that question. Yeah, it's a slam dunk question. Um, There's the one other perspective on this, I'm, sh I'm sure you, you, know, you guys know, is uh, if people had a very, very long lifespan, uh, there are issues that don't involve us, like global warming, and if people had a long lifespan, they might be uh, more invested in solving uh, long-term problems, and, and it might really facilitate people really taking a long view and thinking about the long-term problems. Instead of the next quarter or the next hundred years, you think you'd be around for 500 years. Or the next congressional election exactly. in this country.